First and 10 this breaking news that Jack Strain has been found guilty. The former sheriff of St. Tammany will spend the rest of his life behind bars. He faced four counts of aggravated rape, two counts of aggravated incest, and one count each of indecent behavior with a juvenile and sexual battery. Tonight we have team coverage for you. That's right, WDSU's Aubrey Killian has been following this trial since day one and kicks things off for us at the Covington Courthouse. And Aubrey, you just spoke with the mother of one of his victims. What did she say to you? Hey, Solo. So, yeah, I did. This has been a very emotional two weeks. I spoke with the mother of one of the victims in this case. She says when she heard guilty, she couldn't believe it. Jack, for you to hurt any little children, I hope you rot in hell. A powerful message from the mother of one of Jack Strain's victims. Her son was raped by Strain as a child. What would you tell the former sheriff tonight if you could speak to him? Lord, have mercy on your soul. I loved you like a kid. I, I thought of you as my child. A total of five victims took the stand, detailing horrifying abuse that they endured from the 70s to the early 2000s. District Attorney Warren Montgomery says there are more victims, and Strain will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Th there were some other victims that contacted us, and uh, but we didn't feel that we needed them at this particular point in time. Uh, we felt we could achieve justice. And frankly, it, it's very painful for victims uh, to testify in a public forum. And to the extent that we can uh, save victims from going through that pain uh, and still achieve the ends of justice, uh, it was a, it, we felt that was the right thing to do. What would be your message to Jack Strain this evening? I, I, I really don't have a message to Jack Strain. Uh, he faced his accusers. I think they had a message for him. For two weeks, the state called dozens of witnesses and brought forth evidence. One piece of evidence was a picture that this mother's son drew. She's got a plan for that picture. We're going to put it in the front yard, pouring gasoline on it and set it afire. And guess what? That's when the demon is gone. Because I never, never want to hear his name again. So there you have it right there. It has been a very emotional time for so many families that I've spoken with uh, through the course of this trial. Jack Strain will be sentenced in January. I'm told right now he heads to the St. Tammany Parish Jail, the same jail that he once ran as sheriff. Shea O'Connor picks up our live team coverage from there. That's right, Aubrey. Now, currently, we're actually jail records actually show that strain is being booked and processed as we speak right here at the St. Tammany Parish Jail. And we're just going to take you to some video that we were able to shoot for you a little earlier of witnesses, family and lawyers leaving the courthouse shortly after that verdict came out. Now, I did press strains attorney Billy Gibbons on his thoughts following this verdict. All he had to say was no comment. Now, strain being found guilty on all counts means strain will face four life sentences at the very least. That's just for his most serious charge, the four counts of aggravated rape. And just like my, my co-worker said earlier, this is the very jail that Strain used to run. So just the irony of it all. For now, just reporting live from St. Tammany Parish, Shea O'Connor, WDSU News. All right, Shay, thank you so much for that live report. And Jack Strain has been one of the most powerful political figures in St. Tammany for about 20 years. Well, his career began in the early 80s with the Abita Springs Police Department, then the Covington Police Department after that. And then in 1995, he was elected sheriff and reelected four times. In 2015, he lost his sheriff's race to Randy Smith. In 2019, Strain was arrested on state sex crime charges and he pleaded not guilty. And last month, his trial on those sex crimes charges began tonight. As we've been reporting, he was found guilty on all the charges and will spend the rest of his life in prison. And you know, these are not his only legal troubles. In 2019, Strain was indicted on 16 federal counts for public corruption charges. Strain is accused of operating a work release program that he used to enrich himself, members of his family, and his inner circle. 
Two of his former deputies have already pleaded guilty in that case. That trial is set to begin next month. It's a separate federal matter, so it's unclear if today's developments will have any effect on those legal proceedings. And during his time in law enforcement, Strain has also had a contentious relationship with the black community in St. Tammany Parish, most memorably after Hurricane Katrina, his comments about people with dreadlocks. And I know you remember him talking about other chiwi hairstyles, saying that those people could expect a visit from the Sheriff's Department if they were in St. Tammany. All of this quite a stunning departure from being the top cop in St. Tammany to now facing life behind bars. All right, our coverage of Jack Strange's trial and conviction continues right now on the WDSU mobile app and, of course, on WDSU.com.